Let's get started. So I'm in here in the Fornus region today because we are missing two key items from the Fornus region and also this chest that I found on the way there. Uh, there's also a named monster which I'd love to fight at level, but I don't think there's like a campsite anywhere near here, so I'm probably just gonna mur murder it. I think I took, I, I passed this one up on the way there. It's that level 45 guy over there. Miss. Say, isn't this valuable? Hexagonal shard. Here's a tough customer. Now we're gonna go Merca Bunny. We're gonna take a look at Lands' skills because I forgot to put Soul Hacker on her, on, on on her on him. Healer is also a healer. <laughs> I mean, some, in some games, double downing on the healing is good. Uh, I mean, you're not really going to be doing damage, so I'm improving your ether damage isn't, gonna, isn't on the top of my list of priorities. But I thought to check that before starting the boss fight. Keep your heads or lose them. This is our battle to win. No effect. Oh boy, I'm so glad that the debuff resistance down is a debuff so that it could be resisted. That was a good decision that everybody likes. No, he moved. Let's go. Oh, nothing. Nice. I put Jackal Claw and Aerial Slash on this class, hoping that they offset the fact that it does not do damage. <laughs> Yeah, when I actually go on the actual monster hunt, I'm gonna try to adjust my level to be at level with the monsters. But if I'm fighting stuff that I just see in the field and I'm not really anywhere near a location that would uh, make sense for that, I'm probably not gonna bother. I have someone with launch, right? I should double check that, but I think I do. Yeah, big spotty tail. Yeah. See if we can keep this up. I guess I could have chain attack there. Uh, I have someone with launch, right? Yeah. Okay. We have a launcher. Just thought I'd make sure. All right. Uh, there is one other key item we're missing in the Fornus region. Uh, admittedly, I maybe should have checked Taurus Hollow. There might be something in Taurus Hollow as well, but I forgot. We'll worry about that later. Um, yeah, the other one is right here. Yeah, I like bunnets. They're they're pretty cool. They're they're sort of the uh, they're the early early game enemy in the Xenoblade games. Oh, neat! You can even see the big, pretty trees from here. Oh, there's also a big, scary dude over here, now that I think about it. Am I even at an appropriate level to fight it? It's like... Yeah, it's level 95. <laughs> That's something I think I'm going to want to deal with later. Yeah, as it, as it turns out, I've never been over here. So, I think this one's a Taurus. Yeah, you got this. <laughs> if this is Xenoblade 1, maybe. I don't think I understand this battle system nearly as much as 1's, but that's mostly because 1's is very simple. 
This should prove useful later. We yeah, should it, take. It is the poor. It, it's the ring one. Good care. All right. We are missing one other in another area, but I'm gonna worry about that later. Cause right now. We've got to explore, uh, well first, before we go to Maxwell Wildwood, I want to go here, because apparently this is a secret area. Then we're going to deal with the, the new area, what which we have not explored. This might be even the biggest of the post-game areas, because Sword March at least doesn't have that many landmarks, because I've already fully mapped it out. No, this one's on low ground. God damn it. I don't remember what level I should be for the... Oh, right. The, those enemies from that one quest are still there. That's hilarious. Um... How about... You fuck off. I kind of hate that they've gotten wordy. I, I I preferred it when they didn't talk much. To be honest. <laughs> okay, so I've seen it on map, but I don't actually know where it is. It's like around here somewhere. Yeah, I might want to open the map on this one. I don't 100% know where it is. <laughs> I just remember seeing that there's a secret area near here. I better send them off. I have to say, this uh, this costume is almost really cool until you realize that none of the armor extends to the back, so Noah's back is just weirdly unarmored which i don't i don't know how i feel about is it like on the on those rocks maybe it's on those rocks do i have to jump at them from above or is it this place back here with the level 37 name guy that answers that question <laughs> Back cover when you're facing the enemy. <laughs> you know what? That's that's fair. <laughs> I have to say, this my of the two post-game themes, this one might be my favorite. So, oh yeah, speaking of debuffs, I had a thought, and this is somewhat, um, brought up by another game I've played called, um, or it, was, it wasn't a game, it was a demo called Lumen Tail, which is like a Pokemon-like game, but one thing that that game has is that it has, like, the way its status effects work is that there's, like, an HP bar on each status effect, and so some, some monsters are more susceptible to a status than others, but the point is, is that if a stat, if you fail to apply to debuff, it doesn't, like, completely fuck you. If, like, so... I'm playing the debuff class in Xenoblade. If every time I fell the debuff, it brought their, their their debuff timer down so that, like, I could apply a debuff more easily next time, I think that would make debuffs feel a lot more useful because then it, a failed debuff isn't just wasting... isn't just a waste of time. I need rectangular ones for, um, 
for Tyon's weapon, and I need a whole bunch of shit for for Senna's. If uh, if I get to it, Senna is probably gonna be the first one I upgrade if I if I can at the time. We're gonna be exploring here, but we're gonna try to be at the level the game expects us to be here. Whatever that ends up being. <laughs> Weakness is status stuff. I mean, that makes sense, but because this game doesn't really apply- I mean, it does apply specific debuffs. I think enemies that resist debuffs just resist all debuffs, though. It's kind of the problem. When they probably no problem should just resist some- Furthermore, like, if it resists the status effect, and it fails, like, and your, your class is, like, the class that deals with this one particular debuff, you're kind of shit out of luck if you're fighting a guy that resists the debuff. Oh, nice. You get to fight it at level. Good. <laughs> Yay. Keep your heads or lose them. None of us plan on losing, right? Time to fight the dragon bird. He probably resists debuffs because God damn it, Xenoblade! You don't make a game where you have a class like does debuffs and then say, "All right, but debuffs are useless." <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm pulling so much aggro, considering I, I, my main gimmick doesn't work. Supposed to be cranes, but yeah, essentially, <laughs> like it's it has the same bone structure as the crane enemies, but it's a uh, the flamingo or, or sorry, the dragon. <laughs> the the other word that you said. Skyru, we're, we're doing some sporing. He's playing Cosmic Shake. I'm watching a playthrough of that, and honestly, it, I am like, Feeling kind of disappointed in it, honestly. Am I gonna get a third one off? Oh wait, it's not even a hundred percent chance. <laughs> God damn it! Well, I'm not gonna do much damage, but Only. 
Uni's probably gonna... Well, actually, Uni probably doesn't do much damage either, because her health is so high. This is why, like, this class feels like it would be better as a tank, because, like, for one, if it was an evasion tank, it would have a hell of a lot higher chance of not being poked to death by an AoE. <laughs> but also, it'd be at low health more often. <laughs> have a do lots of damage move or I think it does or if it does I don't have it on yeah, I think I want to get be as high as possible I'm gonna get 10 I'm trying to think what number is this gonna be it's gonna be at least 41 I need it to be a 54. I don't know if I'm going to get 13 out of it. It's basically an evasion tank. Evasion tanks are like really cool. I think I'm going to go. I think I'm going to use up Senna. And hope for a chance that I'll be able to get 20 off of Noah. 20. Do I want to risk that biscuit? I don't know. We'll play with it. So I got 10, I'm gonna need 20, like very specifically 20 if I wanna reactivate three members. I'm not sure that's gonna be possible though. Oh well. Oh yeah, it's definitely not. All right, cool, I made the right call. I like that it's aggro's changing even though it's dead. <laughs> Ooh, I got Noah back. That's nice. We're finishing with Healy the Healer. reactivated, I'd be able to get everyone else's thing going.
The reason why, uh, though, evasion tanks, I think, are really good in Xenoblade, from what I've heard, is that because when they have- because they have an aggro mechanic, uh, aggro goes down when a tank gets hit, or, well, when anyone gets hit, really, but, like, when an enemy deals damage, it, it, uh, reduces aggro. I don't know how- by how much. I- it feels like it must be slight, given how long I stick- keep it as an attacker. But, like, it still goes down. But with evasion tanks, they don't take damage, which- or at least their goal is to not take damage. So they don't actually lose aggro that easily. Anyway, this area is spooky, but it's also very big, so we're gonna explore the whole lot of it. Apparently there's only, like, two landmarks here. And no I didn't now. check up any rest spots. I probably should have. Um... Yeah, those guys are level 74. We can- they will actually aggro, making the queen run around this sludge, how dare you! You know, I actually don't know if Neo would run around in the sludge. She's definitely one to get her hands dirty, but sludge might be a bit, a bit much for her. I don't remember. I can't remember if- she, no, wait, she wasn't with the party in Xenoblade 2 when they went into the garbage chute. <laughs> Fucking Star Wars style. <laughs> Which is hilarious. It's hilarious how much that's become a trope. <laughs> Just the guys invade a uh, enemy base through the garbage chute. How are we doing? Right two. Unfortunate. Twenty-three. Are we still gonna Shall fly? Oh, we sure are. I need to fight these things anyway, so that's fine. I need you guys for gems. We're gonna have to fight the big beetles and the big monkeys at some point. Nice, Valentine's. I don't particularly celebrate that, but it's still nice. 73. Did I just level up to yeah, I did just level up to 78. Want necessarily to fight Let's that monkey. No need to rush. My holiday, but I like doing custom gaming. Fair enough. Whoa, got a rare dude all right the monkey's here. looking this way now. <laughs> Maybe this area is smaller than I gave it credit for. It's like we've we've basically already explored this. Region, except for like this corner, which I feel like probably isn't anything. There's like this area we've yet to explore, which I think looks scary. There's like a looks like a pathway here, maybe that also might just not go anywhere. I'm starting an ether spot. I don't know if I need that ether though. That what I think it is. I'll fight. I'll fight them if they if they pick a fight with me. Otherwise, I think I'm I'm content in ignoring them because I've already have a, enough experience to like over level this area. Looks like there's something over past this monkey though. But it also looks like he's just gonna let me waltz through. So let's just ignore him. Hello. I hope we can make use of this. Oh, found this. What the heck is this elevator doing here? Now <laughs> yeah, in most areas, I took the liberty to, to note down how many um, rest spots, secret areas, and other things I was missing. Where the heck does this go? Every day's a training does day. this go to Colony Moo? Man, this game I wish did more with those, like, 
the shortcut reveals. Because <laughs> this game could really do some interesting level design with it, like, with the way that it has shortcuts, but it doesn't really use them. <laughs> Dead lady's brain placed into an android body. While a corporate boss tries to kill us, jealous fiance causes trouble. Oh no. Sounds about right for a Valentine's Day game. But yeah, because because this game places fast travel points all over the place, those shortcuts tend not to be where you want them to be to make use of a good shortcut. <laughs> I hope we can make use of this. Which is a bit of a shame. Good thing we found this. But I mean, it's a Xenoblade game. Now. You're definitely not playing for interesting level design. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to be playing these games for interesting level design, but it's just not what they do. Stand to have more Ouija. I mean, I did ask when Ouija joins the party. At some point. I forget what the context of it was, but I did make a joke about that at one point or another. <laughs> why, why can't Smash Bros. be like this and not of a fighting instead of a fighting game? I'd love to play a Xenoblade style Smash, or really anything but fighting game. Because, to be quite honest, I don't like fighting games. I I'd play a Super Robot Wars but with Nintendo and other video game properties. Speaking of, I wonder if there's gonna be a Super Ro if there's gonna be a new Super Rebel Wars this year. It's been like a couple years since uh, 30 release. We're gonna hear you pushing yourself too hard an awful lot given that we've got the self damage class in the party. You're all thinking it. I should maybe fight one of those dragons while we're here. Well, I'm iffy on it because we're gonna eventually see like a named one of them probably. So like, why why should I fight? I don't know. Let's just head no off. Problem now. I'm also kind of wishing that they made more use out of the. The, um... What the fuck is this? Looks interesting, but it's not, like, a landmark or anything. Even though it's a very distinctive-looking tree. Because this game, like, almost has Metroidvania mechanics with, like, the, the movement text that you find throughout the world, and then it just sort of doesn't use them. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna get caught by the dra- the Durgan. I was not caught by the Durgan. We are safe. Take all the dragons at once. Yeah, in before named monster about that. Where does this go? I can climb this, so does it go anywhere? I feel like I've tried this already. Where we want to go is like... Not around there, because we did that for a quest, I believe. So we've already been here for a quest, but I think we want to go down this area, or this area. The Hydra has respawning heads. So, so, speaking of Hydra, I did not know... So, in Bofuri, which is like a, that one of those silly light novels with a, with a really preposterous name. In Bofuri, the main character has an ability called um, Hydra. And they summon, like, a three-headed serpent thing to just murder a guy with poison. And I did not know that is a very, very overt reference to One Piece, where there's the guy that ate the venom venom fruit, who also has a three-headed serpent thing called Hydra. Like, that's just the thing that he does. I'm, like, really iffy on how Lucky 7 looks with this class. Wait. 
too soon. See? This is our path to the future. Anyway, supposedly there's only two landmarks down here, which means there should only be one more. Got a lock on another ether spear. How big is this area? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be rather small, because I'm like, oh man, there's like dead ends everywhere, and then it's like over here, like way the crap over there, five miles away. Perks Adventure Piece from LucasArts. Like, where does this path go if there's an unar un unharvested ether sphere all the way? Oh my god! Well, we're coming back in a minute. Where is the nearest rest spot? I mean, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna have to fast travel there anyway. Oh, right, I've turned off rest mark. So I was looking at landmarks. This area being leveled. Game, are you okay? Hello. <laughs> I'm so scared. Do with some food. We can get to 90, I think. Right? You could, like, do so many interesting things with the... Like, I know you're joking. But, like, you could have so many interesting, like, Metroidvania mechanics if you're gonna, like, make movement a thing. And then you could even make back... Like, actual backtracking be useful because I think chests in this game have, are dubious in terms of how rewarding they are because... So, the thing that games like this get wrong and i guess even xenoblade 2 did to an extent but like xenoblade 2 also had like a gacha mechanic so finding gacha rewards is actually kind of helpful is that they don't do what games like zelda or metroid do where they have the rewards feel substantial you get a reward in a metroid game or a zelda game like you you find a heart piece or an e-tank and you're like oh my god that's like a substantial upgrade that's like incredibly valuable and then you find a chest in this game, and it's like, oh man, it's just another chest. I guess I, mi I might as well get it, because there's, like, some thought required in, a, in figuring out how to get to one. Scenery of Ionia is very messed up now, all broken and ripped sunderways. Friends, please to make reciprocal mincemeat a big thing in Great Sea. Give extra heavy payback. Alright, so we gotta go into this big cave. Where there's probably the other landmark. Um, after which, we we're gonna make a pit stop in Erythia Sea. I made it daytime by accident. Oops. Well, it's, it's just gonna be daytime now. <laughs> there's nothing that could be done about it. No problem now. I'm like really curious what they do, what they do to improve both Xenoblade Four, if there is gonna be a fourth Xenoblade game, um, or even a uh, the the uh, the the DLC, which is presumably going to be a prequel to this game. The Song of Time. It's fine. I mean, I could set the time of day, but I don't feel like it. Then I have to open the menu. Hmm. 
I'm like really iffy on setting time of day and fast traveling at the same time because I'm like on one hand it's like it's really convenient if all you want to do is like s s fast travel to a, to a place at a certain time of day. But this game doesn't seem to use times of days as much as other Xenoblade games, so it feels like really weird. <laughs> it was really funny when Metroid Dread came out and people were like, people that had like no idea what the fuck the, the, uh, the Metroid series is about, it was like, oh man, they skipped Metroid 4 and went straight to Metroid 5 because they don't know that Metroid Prime 4 is like, the Prime series is its own thing, completely separate from the other Metroid games. Well, I guess we're going into a spider nest. We'll be fine. Just don't be a clod. You're dealing with me. I'm the one you want. Dicey trying to run through as we are now. Better give it a good push one. Over now. We can always turn back if the going gets tough, right? Oh my god, it's another cave. The cave of oblivion. Well, that doesn't sound great. Oh god, I hate these things. One of their attacks turns them around and it's like very annoying. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? It's a cool enemy type, it's just very annoying for a many multiple reasons. <laughs> At least if you hit them from the side, it's not so bad, because they turn if they turn around, you're still hitting them from the side. <laughs> but like, they turn around to do this one attack, and then they also dig into the ground, which is also somewhat annoying. <laughs> Oreo! Okay, looks like there's just chests this charge way. Off on We're gonna approach this the way we approach the other maze and just go right. We're gonna do the maze strat because... Looks like this is just chest. Fuck away. How? What is the range? <laughs> Why do enemies get like damage, damage, uh, damage ranges like that? But then I want to go heal a guy as healer, and I can't heal someone who's like two meters away from me. <laughs> You know, I'm, I give up. I'm not going to try to avoid that anymore. I'm, I'm done. I'm trying Lucky 7. I mean, that's kind of a meme game, though. That makes perfect no sense. <laughs> I hope we can make use of this. It's gonna be rough. Both of these attackers are low decks. 
I don't need to fight that guy. I mean, I don't need to, but I could anyway. I'll lure them in. Whoop. Not quite what I meant to do. I'm amazed this class does enough damage to pull aggro, to be honest. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. Alright, time to enter the poison caves. No problem now. Level 96. Not quite ready for that yet. So we're just gonna move on and come back later. If I hit level 90, if I get to that level around here, or if I find a rest spot. If I find a rest spot, I'm leveling up to that level to deal with that. I for sure. Door. And one of the things. These things are far less annoying to fight. I mean, the gimmick is just kind of eh, but it does at least feel like a like a, a pretty standard attacker, if a bit slow. Like again, I wish they they handled more games. I wish more games handled debuffs. Like a you have a debuff health bar, and this is how much like enemies that resist a certain debuff just have a higher debuff health bar for that particular debuff, so it takes more attempts at debuffing them to do it. And then classes that, that lower debuff resistance instead do, just do more debuff damage. Because I get that, like, the reason why debuffs being useless is a common trap to fall into is because, obviously, you don't want to make your bosses cheesable. And if you, like, make them really resistant to poison, or really, uh, susceptible to poison, for instance, then suddenly you can cheese it by just putting a poison on the boss repeatedly and just sort of staying alive.
Togus be cheesing. So like games are like, well, I don't want them to cheese bosses with my, my debuffs, I want them to engage the debuff with the boss. Fundamentally misunderstanding that if again you, you do that, then debuffs are worthless because they don't you don't get enough value out of them in ra random regular encounters. Oh, I got a rectangular one. I need I need those for Tyon. All right, now I saw a path this no way led to a puzzle cavern. This one looks simple enough. No, 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 I want to do this so that I can do that. I'm glad we put puzzles in this game, but these are like these are way too easy. <laughs> they require no thought. Oh man, it's the super boss. Looks like well traveled by now, huh? Well traveled. So I must be missing a rest spot somewhere here. Yeah, this is the guy I think you were mentioning that you can sort of glitch past. I'm gonna explore the rest of this cave system, and then I'm gonna pull up a map of this place. It's a piece of treasure behind him. Yeah, no, I, re I remember. <clears throat> you, you mentioned that you can, you know, bug him out. By the way, uh, those, those quest enemies that I bugged out, are they're still there. They haven't died yet. Well, there's a couple paths from here. A formidable opponent. Yeah, I don't I don't feel like dealing with you right now. I hate to say. they don't do this with named monsters more because i remember xenoblade one it's like you need this key item for the quest i'm like cool okay i'm gonna go here get the key item and get out and you walk up to the key item and then a giant spider crawls up from behind the key item and you're like Ugh. um i may do that if there is a um a thing behind it for Okay, for because I'm just doing mapping right now. I think I'll deal with name monsters together, at least for super bosses. Because the thing with super bosses is, I want to be max level, which I will probably get to by doing all the name monsters. Speaking of which, I should probably go fight Robert at some point. We got a chest here. God, I hope I'm not wasting all these ultra pure gemstones. Although I guess I can get them from named monsters. I mean, I gathered that the devs intended for me to fight the boss first. Okay, I'll have to see if there's like a rest spot here or there's something over there. Because this area looks pretty well mapped. Oh, there's also something up there, maybe. I 
And we'll come back here. If there is a rest spot down here, that would be perfect, actually, because I, I, I want to level up to fight the named guy. I mean, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> it's just a quest. It's good to keep a record. Like one way or another, I'm fighting that super boss and picking up that item. It's just, I might not do so right right, right away. <laughs> That doesn't look like anything. I don't think I can scale that. Okay, is there like a campsite over here? Because this is like the last area left here to explore. a campsite it may just be there's a location in that the cave of the dragon there is this like a rare thing that's seeming somewhat likely oh yeah i'm 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 buying that for sure now i don't really see anything out here though i suppose i could open up a map just to be safe now that I've explored most of it. Whoop! We are looking at... Oh, Macfa. Huh. I should have everything here. By the looks of it. <laughs> See, I've got both fast travel spots. There's no rest spots here. I definitely got the elevator in the ancient storehouse. And the cave of, of oblivion. And I'm it would be weird if I didn't have the treehouse. Am I missing another landmark on the upper level? Hold the phone. Alright, I should have 15 landmarks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, right, because this also includes Colony. Uh. Colony Lambda. Hold on, let me just hide everything so this map looks more useful. There is, I said 13, right? And there's two in Colony Lambda. Our spots should have 12, 
but two of them are from Lando, so there should only be ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Weird. I don't know. I, I guess maybe I'll have to... Oh! No, 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 no. That's, that's somewhere I've been. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm missing in this map, but... I don't think I'm going to waste stream time on it, so we'll figure that out later. Yeah, weird. <coughs> Alright, we're heading back to the Kevis Castle region. <coughs> and the reason for this is... As I've marked on the map, we are actually missing a, uh... We're sliding down. <clears throat> a key item. Next time I have to head there, I'll have to remember to be max level. What you the, putting, uh, guys? Go lower levels. Oh, but that can... I, I do actually have a physical checklist now, and I can check off that we've explored post-game area number two. That leaves two more, and then we have to finish mapping Ionios, which should be pretty simple. I think while we're in the Kevis Castle region, we'll do that. All right. Uh, where am I going? <laughs> I wish these zip lines were two way. Something. Yeah, we're basically returning there because there, there's a thing we missed. It's uh, it's another hexagonal thing. Uh, after which we should have every key item in in this area. There's not too much we're missing in the castle. There's just like an upper level which will require us to bring out Melia. Which I guess would be an, a, an appropriate time to segue into using Melia for the rest of the stream. Because I'm probably going to keep using Nia for the rest of the game. Partly because I like Nia better as a character. Though Melia is quite good as well. Just, I'm sorry, you can't beat Sassy Cat Girl. It's, it's impossible. Especially now that she's Sassy Cat Girl with an image of not being sassy that she has to maintain. It's great. Watch your footing, guys. Oh man, I wonder if, cause like this, you can't tell me that the uh, the the uh, the DLC is definitely gonna be a prequel. It's just whether we play as N or as we play as the founders, and I'm I've, I'm leaning towards the founders because like it makes more sense. Because from what I can tell, I think Noah's Ouroboros has always consisted of these six members. Hey man, there's something up. It's up there. But yeah, we're missing, I think, two secret areas and a couple landmarks. I st I have no idea what I'm missing on the the map of lower the lower levels. <laughs> I mean, they are NPCs in this story. <laughs> I want to climb up that place and see what was up there. And then we're going to move into the castle. There's, I think, two groups of named monsters to fight there. Which we might as well do while we're in the area. 
And then I think for the next post-game area, I want to be level 70. Maybe. What are we doing in ranks? Rank 4. Lance is rank 3. Lance being the most important one, because we need to get that to rank 10 in order to get a, uh... Watch your footing, guys. The, the Ascension quest going. <laughs> oh, oh, is this gonna be a, a shortcut to somewhere else? It's not that useful because I can just fast travel to anywhere else but here. But it, I mean, it's there. Let's take this. Oh, that takes us to that lower area that I never I knew about. Or that, that I knew about, but I wasn't sure what it was for. These are really cool, and I wish they were designed... They were... That's the way. They they were used better. These and the ladders and stuff are all really neat. Okay, and the castle first floor... We were actually missing well, the Zodane monster that we need to fight here, but also we're missing this entire side of the floor. What is it? Kevin's Castle region, we're missing three landmarks. Um, but I know where they all are, I think. There's this one here, which apparently has two chests. Somewhere. Oh, there's one. Wonder what's inside. There's also at least one named monster down here somewhere. What's inside? This should prove useful later. We should take good care of that. Most of the not on coins is useful. These are probably the stairs up, which isn't that important. I find it hilarious that the enemies are still hostile down here. Somewhere around here is a named monster. I know that. Not to worry. Just stick to the plan. You're dealing with me. Thanks. This is our path to the future. It may have been on the other stairs. But I think this is the last landmark on this floor. Um, I don't... Uh, one of these... Shall we deal with this? Really, guys? <laughs> There's a named guy down here somewhere. Where is he? I know he's here. I've seen him. There you are, little rascal. Not to worry. Just stick to the plan. 
them occupied. Friends made along the way. This guy seems like he blocks, which is a little bit annoying. Oh my god! <laughs> Just since this area is symmetrical, there's one on the other side. You see? This is our path to the future. Okay, there is another name monster, but not on this floor somewhere. <laughs> They're on third floor? They're in here somewhere. There's like a group of triplets. There's a Furby. I mean, in 1 and 2, there was a Nupon as a main character. Although I say in in 1's case, I, I you'll have to take the word main character very liberally. Because they are quite literally there and th that's about it. Why did I ever open this? But you're in our way. Wherever they are, don't let her. I'll tear it all down. This is our path to the future. I hope we can make use of this. We're gonna fight the triplets, and then we have to make our way up to the fourth floor. This tremendous this is a challenge. Edwin. Don't lose focus. Are we really do. Hey, Spider-Man! Whitefoot! That's the weak point! Ah! That's the enemy! You know what? I will draw Lucky Seven. <laughs> I'm probably gonna do a lot of fighting today. Let's let's keep the this stuff. Um, things around here that we need to deal with. Right, this is the... the... Huh. Right, okay. <laughs> Okay. 
So in here, there's actually stuff in the rooms to the back. And there's my mind is made up. You have my full support. There's a couple things need to rem need to deal with. Um, we got another silver belt. I don't want ether stuff. Crit rate. The dex is honestly pretty okay. Okay. It's actually really funny looking on the map where the secret areas are, because they're like at the same spot. Essentially. Alright, okay, that's where one of the landmarks was. I thought there was there was one on the way. So yeah, at this point I know where all of the other landmarks are. Now we wait. So we can go two ways. We can take this elevator. Why doesn't the Levinus of her karma cover the back? It's, it bothers me so much. Oh, wow. I've never seen anything like it. That brings us to Melia's Sky Garden. Where there's, ooh, there's a little chest that is, that is awaiting us. Wonder what's inside. Oh, good thing we found this. But... Unless I'm mistaken, there is more. Tree challenge. Gotta keep nice and limber. Do you mean Skyblock or is that something else? Anyway, there's a second elevator behind this door, but you need Melly in the party for it. it it's it's yeah, it's Skyblock because it's block but in sky. <laughs> Very original. Well, it's been a good run. <laughs> All right, does that map out everything? It doesn't. What could I be mit? Oh, right, because there's one more. <laughs> Duh. It should be operable now. I mean, you do if there's actual level down there, but there's no not level because it doesn't load everything at once. Because this game has to perform sorcery to be able to run on the switch. Which reminds me, I wonder how Outer Wilds runs on Switch. Because that game is on Switch, and I don't understand, because it has to do physics. All, it has to do a lot of physics calculations. Now we're going to keep Melly in the party for a little bit. I, I kind of regret doing that now, because all the elevators are now on the lower floor. And it's super inconvenient. Now, we 
wait. It's still so weird to me that, like, Keva's castle is this big, cool dungeon, and then Agnes castle is just a, like, a cutscene, <laughs> essentially. It's like, wow, it's really funny, because, like, I feel like Agnes gets a lot of favor in, like, plot relevance, because you get to Keva's castle so early, but then in terms of, like, actual how it gets used in the plot, this place is... What with me? This place is a uh, a lot more developed than Agnes Castle. We have arrived. Is this like a rare thing? Oh, Jank sliding. Everyone's Xenoblade favorite. Everyone, mark jank sliding mechanics off of your bingo card. I see a chest over there, so we're gonna have to go grab that. I hope we can make use of this. This should prove useful later. We should take good care of that. Gold coins is gonna save me some grinding so later, so that's key. Huh? Weird. I thought this was a waypoint. I guess we know Ionios like the back of our hand now. Wait, castle drainage is an area, <laughs> really? I guess we know Ionios like the back of our hand now. It's even on the map. <laughs> We're sliding down. All right, that completes Keva's castle. <laughs> so we've got what? Good job, Uni. <laughs> Gotta keep nice and limber. So, Cadencia region. We're already here. Uh, we're gonna start by exploring the post-game area, which, if I'm not mistaken, is here somewhere? Yeah, sure is. But the butt of a castle. No, but the weird thing is, is that it's its own map, but then also it's on a different map also. <laughs> like, it shows up on map in the other areas. <laughs> it's, this is bizarre. Alright, so we're going to go back to level 70. I'm going to go 74 we could do with some food. Four to be safe. And I mean, if I guess the level wrong, I have to come... Oh, wait, I might be guessing the level wrong. We're going to over-prepare, and then if I have severely over-prepared, we'll come back. But I think it, I think it is level 90, I actually. Feel stronger. Wait a minute. No, he's only level 80. <laughs> heroes don't share levels. Even though they're effectively all the same character with different classes. Yeah. Where to from here? Ninety-five. I still underprepared. <laughs> really? <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> you know what would be really convenient for this game? If they made the the entrance to the post game have campsites for you to level up at. Better make sure we're well rested. Yeah, they do only share bonus EXP gains, but it's really bizarre because you can only have one of them in the party at once anyway. stronger ah. I'm all refreshed and re ready to take on the world These guys are all level 70, if I'm not mistaken. Level 60, even lower. So we're actually a little bit underleveled for this area, but we'll make do somehow. This is a good song too, but I just feel like the original remix of that song is better. <laughs> the, uh, the one from Future Connected. <laughs> In fact, it was arguably the best part of Future Connected was this song. <laughs> Why is the Laid healing a buff? I don't- what does it do? <laughs> Are those Turkin? Really? A Turkin and an Igna working together? How bizarre. No, it's fine. I got this. Trust me. So there are two fast travel spots in here. Oppose us and we will show no mercy. Oh yeah, we don't think like our I wonder if fusion arts are still worth using in this area. Wait, I need to attack back for this to work. Thinking it. 
Fight with focus. Let's end this quick. Butterfly blade. You hit first, you're dealing with me. You're a lightsaber. <laughs> I might be a little bit more careful in here with, or more liberal with Lucky 70 here, given that it is very high level. Reinforcements in this game were really funny, considering, like, you'd think these enemies should all aggro at once, and then they don't. <laughs> I could uh do some off seeing. We can't just leave this be. I kinda wished off seeing was worth more. So I'm not going to joke around with it. Oh, I guess I should have... I forgot to apply an EXP buff, a class EXP buff at the rest spot. I guess next fast travel I'm, I'm going to boop out and go do that. Get back up there. We are so winning this. Yeah, you smash him up, good girl. Crash out. I'm also curious what kind of jazzy sick tune they're gonna come up with for the DLC because they, they seem to go jazzy for, the, for those like uh, extra things like the Future Connected and Torna both have really jazzy sounding themes that go hard. Oh my god, I'm rank 7 already? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Turns into lounge music. Maybe. You 
Gotcha. Listen to my orders. Standing by and good to go. Butterfly play. Make this quick. Yeah, no fast travel yet. I'm sure I will get one. Oppose us and we will show no mercy. We're not playing games here. I'll tear it all down. You're a lightsaber. I'll keep up the attack. Man, the doom be going hard now. What else to see? This is our path to the future. Butterfly oh, right I gotta keep your I thought I had lucky seven for some reason. Well, while it's on my mind, I'm, all, I'm almost ready to change again, god damn it. While it is on my mind, back to the campsite to get food. <clears throat> we could do with some food. Did I ever end up getting a better CP boost? I don't think so. Oh, there is Manana's Doodle Noodles. You know what? I'm gonna cook the Doodle Noodles. <laughs> they do boost experience, which I don't necessarily want. I'm feeling energized already. But they also boost my CP gain by a lot more. Ugh. Let's be a Decent, right? I ranked up. 
But we're still waiting on lands to learn Life Sage. I guess the fighting on the ocean battle music overrides the fighting with Melia battle music. Or the game is just bugging out, because I think actually we were on the water and still getting that music earlier. Her beat bird. Apparently. Oh, Lance hit rank nine. There's a lot of these guys. Right, right. Let's give it some. You don't mess with uni. I'm sorry. I can't go easy on you. Do as you prefer. Why? I'm the one you want. Just as planned, Aeon. You're dealing with me. I'll keep them Oh god, both our healers are dead. <laughs> That went very wrong very fast. There's a chest over there. I'm gonna go get it. That means we're loading a Royal Summoner, and we're going to bring back Life Sage. <laughs> uh, which does mean I get to learn a new, a new thing now. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs>
I can tell this is going to be hard. I might, I might need to, some more aggro reduction on me. I guess it does summon three random elementals. I wonder what they all are. Like, what all the elementals I can summon are. It's actually kind of unfortunate that all of the, uh... Oh. I guess they la have an expiry time. I should pay more attention to this class. This class is weirdly technical. <laughs> oh, does Elemental Discharge just discharge all of my Elementals? I thought I only used up one. chest over there, another group of dudes. I guess I should fight them. Wait a minute, there's dudes on my map here. Where are they? I found them! We'll be fine. Just don't be a clod. I don't want to be you for that either, Uni. Oh, I'm the one you want. You're a lifesaver. I'm the one you want. You're a lifesaver. Yeah, that's how I generated two. I don't want to use Lucky 7, but I might need to bring Lucky 7 back here. Very dying. I would like to use this <laughs> well I'm not I mean, I'm not gonna be able to what does this even do again it's damaged by discharging all elements on our execution use elemental damage by 50% the time is now. yeah that's unfortunate I may end up having to use Noah for a bunch of this
fought basically everything in this room. <laughs> if the amount of enemies were smaller, I think I might be able to get away with this just fine. But there are, like, a ton of enemies in here. <laughs> And we don't exactly have healers that uh, excel in healing in the party, which doesn't mean much because like you can get by just fine without that. Now, with any luck, by the time we reach the end of this area, we will still have, um... We'll still have some EXP to learn, gain on this class. These guys are max level. I was allowed to draw Lucky 7. Cool. enemies just flat out. Sure, somewhere around here there's gonna be a need bomb. Oh yeah, no, there they are! Super bosses! Are those turkeys? Allow their hopes and desires to gain rest with your melody. Yeah, I might swap out Tribadour for um, the other Healy Healy healer. His Tyons does not really accelerate and heal excel in healing. All right. All 
man, they've really gone and done it now. I think that'll do it for now. We've explored basically the ma majority of this area. They let out one long shrill. No, that's the off-seeing recorder, not the off-seeing uh, or the uh, the off-seer recorder, not the off-seer flute. Um, now this won't help us map anything out, but I feel like we should probably take a look at this location as well. I might keep that, honestly. Let's see what level things are here. I'm assuming there must be a rest spot or something here. It would be really weird. Whoa, got a rare dude all right here. It'd be really weird if that was the only checkpoint in the entire area. a chest from up here. Huh. I hear breathing and I don't like it. Whoa, got a red dude all right here. The wind sounds like br like really creepy breathing. <laughs> He's coming from inside the room. I sure hope not. But I also I don't r see what c the breathing sound could be, and also it stopped. <laughs> So I guess I did these post-game areas out of order. This looks like the one to do after the, the first one. There's gotta be a super boss around here somewhere. Up there, maybe? There was also a chest I saw over here. Probably gonna aggro one of these birds because of my level. Right? I'm rank 6 already! <laughs> well, I'll be able to achieve one of my post-game goals, which is to do the ascension quests fairly quickly, it seems. Something so valuable here. Huh. Huh. I'm safe from anything that isn't level 90. Did I see? No, I thought I might have seen a, uh... One of the things... Well, if I don't see anything eventful here, I may just end up going back and finding the uh, named Blanche. Oh, wonder what's inside. Uh, smart. Say, isn't this valuable? We should take good Ooh, care. Another of rectangular that. shard. I need those. I'll claim the ether here. <laughs> P 
part of the reason that I didn't like that I heard breathing is because I remembered what used to be here was a pile of corpses somewhere. I believe, right? The, the, cause I, I remember very specifically it being like a thing that they were overlooking. That's a rare one. They, uh, the city used to overlook what I remember being a pile of corpses. <laughs> So hearing weird breathing is like, uh-uh, don't like that. No thanks. <laughs> that smarts. Now a pile of zombies. It could be. <laughs> There's a chest back there, but this also looks like the perfect place for a super boss. I was gonna put one somewhere. It would be definitely be here. I don't see one though. <laughs> Animated husks. That's. <laughs> Wonder what's inside. I don't remember if they were um bodies of Kvesi slash Agnians. Because I don't think the city folk leave behind husks. They just sort of disappear when they die. <laughs> There's another one. This one's probably not rectangular, but I would very much like it for is it to be. I think it is? <laughs> These are worth a bit, right? We should take good care of that. Rhomboid. I mean, if I got enough that are not rectangular, I can do Senna's weapon. <clears throat> Which I can't see how they would upgrade other than giving it spikes. <laughs> like, it's a giant mace. What are you going to do to it to make it better? Weird. I wonder if this is where the, the, the last super boss comes in. Like, you kill all the other super bosses and this one shows up. Because I don't... See much around here, to be honest. You can never go wrong with some ether. <clears throat> I hope we can make use of this. Weird. What's especially weird is that I thought it looked like you could get up there because there's like a pipe that looks like you could climb up right there. <laughs> but I wouldn't know how to get there from here. And it doesn't seem to be on the map anyway from what I can tell, so maybe not. What a bizarre location! Well, I guess we're heading back to the city. See how many shards you've got. Check out, look, checking out, can check off, checking out the post game areas off of my uh, my list, which I'm now noticing neglects to mention upgrading the party's weapons. <laughs> Very sorry, Tyon, but we broke weapon. Interesting. What 
do you mean? You broke it. I mean, I'm not sure what I was expecting for Tyon's weapon. It's 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 just a very nondescript glove. I guess it looks cooler now. Honestly, a lot of them are very subtle. It's just Lanz's is very in your face. This weapon is now very different. <laughs> All right. Well, um... Yeah, back on Elemental Genesis. I mean, it's not that much bigger, but... Well, it's time to explore the Cadencia region. Because we're exploring the Cadencia region, that means it's beach time. Because I got all the swimsuits and I want somewhere to use them, so... nearby allies HP. Boost recharge speed by 25%. That would be nice on Troubadour, actually. Okay, so before we head out, we've got Senna's to upgrade. Now, what was it we needed? So we, oh my god, we really only need four round shards, two rectangular shards, and one rhomboid charge? That's pretty good. We'll be able to upgrade Senna soon. Wow. So, I do an ocean, I guess. There are, I think, I think most of the shards here are going to be left to find. Although at this point, we, I honestly might not need any more. All right, beach time. We're probably not going to finish exploring this area today, but I'm, I'm glad to basically be done with post-game areas. And almost done with mapping, we just need to finish, uh, I need to figure out whatever the heck I'm missing in Pen Palace, and then there's this. Speaking of whatever I'm missing in Pen Palace, there is a thing here. I think I'm gonna. S well, we kind of need Nia for healing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm iffy on it. I kind of want to use. Um, I kind of want to use Melia because Melia's got a uh, a thing that's gonna really help out for ether attacks and chain attacks. Yeah, I don't. I think the only real issue with the last area was how much, how many enemies there was. This should be fine. 
You have my full support. So I'm about. There was also a scary named monster here, which is why I never explored here before. Yeah, there they are. There's three of them. I will do my utmost. This will be a challenge. Don't lose focus. None of us plan on losing, right? Oh, oh, oh. That guy's over here. You're a lifesaver. Break. Friends aura from completing if the resign is from here is actually right, right. You're crazy. I forgot about you. You're ridiculous.
Unfortunate. <laughs> Save you. I may have made a mistake. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know still is how much the damage percent actually matters. <laughs> yeah, if I'm gonna use an, a primarily ether attack based team, definitely put Melia in the party. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Make our way back to the boat. Keep exploring. So there's three islands. We need um, to explore. Are we gonna be all right? I guess we can start there. So the areas I know for sure we have to explore, there's three fast travel spots on this island. <laughs> so I definitely want to check out here. In fact, let me grab the Cadencia region map as well. have both secret areas, actually, so let's not do secret areas. So we're on Lavi Sandbar. Right. What have we got around here? I should write this all down. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> Guys, please. <laughs> I might go a little bit long, because I'd love to get most of the exploration done 
these last few areas, so there's not much of that we have to do next Here we go. couple times. Because that'll leave, there's half of my list is done. This guy's level 60, so I'm not too concerned about them, even though they're everywhere. It's already getting dark. Ooh, a chest and definitely no trap Ooh. monsters. That Wonder what's inside. Whoa, hey, look, a trap right monster! <laughs> oh, it's a Vogel. I was like, that thing's huge, too, but it's it's a Vogel, which are already big. Okay. So there is an area around here that I've apparently just completely missed. I can click on this to get an image. So let's go there first, since it seems to be the closest. Uh, that smarts. <laughs> There's nothing quite like something that like really shows off how pasty-skinned your protagonists are in a JRPG in swimsuit costumes that make it very obvious. <laughs> that pillar, I think, is what looks like it, which I just, I guess, I just never approached. <laughs> so that's, that's a bit bizarre. Oh, and my meal is already worn off. Wow. We have arrived. Third pillar remnant. Cool. Now I think there's another one that appears by the shore. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna fast travel here just to bring the boat over. <laughs> another spot here. Well, obviously this is a Kevis encampment, so you know. Huh. I guess if I ever need to grind out on Kevis stuff, I know where to go. It feels like this should be a colony site, but it isn't. I also need to figure out how to get up there. That's, I think, where it is. Is there, like, a cliff with a... Maybe a cliff that I'm missing. It's gonna bring me a tripwire. Oh yeah, it's it's definitely up here somewhere. So I need to figure out how we get up here. Because it could be a climb spot. Let me see. I can turn points of interest on on this map, so maybe I should go do that. Oh, wait a minute. That's pointless. I see how to get up here. There's like a little hill that goes up there from here. Yeah, right there. Okay. I mean, I do need knock on coins. I don't want to do this, but you're in our way. No, let's get your guard back. Shut up, 
I... I'm too used to playing as the other class, God damn it. That's too fire, that's interesting. Melia is a bit less strategic now. Just because you don't really get to pick what elementals you spawn anymore. And I was the MVP. You were all thinking it. Which I also guess makes her a bit more random now. Fighting for territory, I suppose. It's a little bit awkward that Elemental Discharge charges slightly faster than uh, Summon Element. That was spectacular. And I but I want to I want to use Summon Element before Elemental Discharge. <sighs> it's another thing to see it for yourself, right? Place of Heroes Path. Interesting. This could Legacy be of the Seven. Keep your heads, you'll lose them. Got to allow for a little challenge now and again. Wait a minute. The seven. Okay, I'm a bit. I'm actually a bit curious if the seven were to. So. Because there shouldn't be seven founders, because. The uh, Ouroboros. The way Ouroboros works is there should only be six of them, plus whoever their other class inheritors are. Which makes me wonder then, are the seven? So there were only five protagonists in well, five human protagonists of Xenoblade. Uh, Xenoblade 2, but in Xenoblade 1, there were seven protagonists. Well, Mio dying isn't the biggest concern, because she has the get gooder when die more <laughs> class. <laughs> Although I'd still prefer to avoid it. I could have broken it. Yeah, it's a shame there isn't really any good back back positionals on available on Mastery Arts, because I'd love to be able to um, just be a back attacker. Oh, I guess next time I summon element, I should be using the, the thing. Oh! <laughs> 
Legacy of the Seven Pieces. Veneris Rings. Rectangular. Need one more rectangular. Oh, we've got enough rhomboids. I think I still need more round, however. The starter chain attack increases TP by 20. That sounds okay, I guess. I don't know, that doesn't impress me as much as some of the others have. <laughs> so, the last landmark on this island is on the other side of the island. Run off that away. Take a bit of extra time to map all the landmarks that I know about, I think. Here, I think? So much to see, huh? All right, and that finishes off that island. Now, there is somewhere to the north of here. How about we go here? Somewhere that we can travel to by boat <laughs> that also has a landmark. If I counted right, we were missing nine at the start of the stream. We got two from the, the place, and we got three, so we should be missing four. Of which, I know where three of those are. I wonder if I've found the first pillar yet. I also wonder what the heck is over here. Oh, it's another shard. Another named monster. Perfect. <laughs> Kramitz. This should prove useful later. We should take round. Care of I that. think I did need more rounds, so that's good. All right, well, we're here, so let's take out this named boy. The more we take out now, the better. I will do my utmost. This will be a challenge. Don't lose focus. Got to allow for a little challenge now and again. Overfall! Demon Slayer! Where I'm from, it's called a land on Cheers, you're the dead. Yeah, attacking from behind is annoying. Noble 
Shell guard, interesting. I don't think guards are good, but it's good to have that, I guess. Is this like a rare thing? Got another rectangular. Oh, wait, that completes our rectangular set. It's perfect. Fourth, second. I wonder if there is a first pillar remnant somewhere. My plumage is everywhere. Oh, there is, and we've been there. Alright. Um. There's two more that I know about for sure. One of them is here. In Spooky Island. The other one is that one place in Agnes Castle. After that, I've got nothing. We'll just have to play it by ear from that point onwards. Whoa. What rank am I? Six. I guess it's because I'm fighting low-level named Ooh, monsters, so they're not that? really doing anything for me, which is a bit unfortunate. But hey, that's part of why when I do the actual named monster hunt, I'm going to do it at level. The location of this is about here. How about we go here? So I need to get up onto the upper level and then from there figure out where to go. And not deal with the coral boys, because they're everywhere here. If I recall correctly from the Grey Quest, to get up onto that upper level, we have to go this way somehow? We have to go up around here? cave over here. <sighs> Once I've mapped out every area, I can start doing grinding on my own time without fear of being like, I haven't seen this location yet, which might still be true because of how Xenoblade weirdly plays out its landmarks. Like, it... like if you want to get the full map, you should have to visit every like notable location. <laughs> Sometimes Xenoblade is just like, oh, this location is just not anything important on the map. It's just here. Oh, I saw... What? What do you mean it's just there? Xenoblade, what are you doing? Okay, we ended up here, which I think had scary spiders, if I recall. Yeah, there they are. Drop down here, to where the big old birds are. And that's where the Grey Quest took us to. Should be around here somewhere, I think. What am I looking for? I'm looking for another pillar! God damn it. <laughs> How many of these things are there?
Okay, before we leave here, let's go look at that investigation spot in the center. Oh god, another named boy. Well, I mean, we gotta fight him now. This could be dicey. Up to you. I do wonder if this guy is because there's a named monster of one of these in this area in Xenoblade uh Xenoblade 2. It makes me wonder if this is the same dude. <laughs> I don't know if you need to break, but I should... Yeah. I guess I'll stay from the side anyway. I'm definitely not getting the back attack bonus in this fight. off in the distance, lands going, you might want to surrender! Once we hit Intellect Level 3, we wreck him. Alright, sorry, once everyone else reaches Intellect Level 3, we wreck him. Which I don't think I need. Attorney so, rings, what do you do? Boost attack by 40%. Ooh. Sort by category. Favorite I'm that for sure. This. Also, favorite this, even this. if I don't plan on using it. Alright! Uh, so let's go to that last area that I know of. I guess I can figure out what the heck else I'm missing in this area and the other place. <laughs> and next time, I guess we'll finish off mapping? And we could just focus on quest stuff and the named monsters. Huh. 
And then, uh, then we'll finally be done post-game stuff. Which is exciting. Probably gonna be a name monster here, which will probably be how we end our uh, our stream for today. Yeah, because we've been through this bridge. I'm probably gonna ignore the the help fight. I don't understand why these ones are red. <laughs> Are we gonna get an explanation for that? It's randomly, these are red, uh, red cool-looking Agnian Levnuses. We gotta pitch in, quick! I don't get, I don't get spoils. Almost every location here. Are these things just not active? Well, we've been found. They definitely are. Okay, good to know. I'm glad I definitely <laughs> tell. There must be a named one in here somewhere. Remaining two, and then we'll figure out what to do. Don't try to stop us. Be Yeah, like, why are they red? <laughs> like, I thought at first it'd be like, oh man, they're all Mobius now, so they're all gonna have, like, red Levinus lights. 
randomly this offshoot of Agnian stuff has, has, has red lights instead of green. That was never explained or really involved in the plot. Someone using Hazy Figure in uh sort of someone uses Hazy Figure in one of the other Xenoblade games. The uh, I will do my utmost. Obliterator Century. I did not know you could fight these. Well, we're gonna fight a giant boat now, I guess. Yeah. Oh, it's not one of the boats, it looks like one from. <laughs> Out of order a little bit. I probably shouldn't even bother going behind to do uh do bind, but I mean I get town art point for it. Are these earth? Are these gonna inflict poison? I guess I should have done it the other way. So if we can survive, we should be able to just destroy this thing. Oh, my God. 
Oh god! I should get some free damage out. We'll save that big responsibility for the named monster hunt <laughs> where I will hopefully not be playing with this party which I don't know Melia's class seems weird and I'm not sure how I feel about it anyway that'll be a that'll do it for today